Hello and welcome students to English class standard 12th. Section 2 poetry 2.5 father returning home. Now this is the poem. It is a very touching poem by Dilip Chitre. He is describing the daily routine of the people of Mumbai who are coming and going to their office by local trains. Now how is their life? How do they come back home tired and what is their, how do they look, what is their appearance? All these things are described in this poem through his father by Dilip Chitri. Before we begin with the poem, let us discuss the icebreakers. Now we discuss the icebreakers so that you can be able to understand what exactly is the introduction of the poem. So let's begin. Now here, what are the difficulties? You also are coming and going to college and when you do a certain thing daily for going and traveling long distances, what are the difficulties you face if you are coming by public transport? So, you, there are crowded buses and trains. These are the public transports. Also, while going into the buses and trains, it is difficult to board during peak hours. Sometimes you even have to miss the bus so that you can enter the bus safely. So, that is board safely. Next is on such days, sometimes if you are unable to board the bus correct bus on right time you will be missing important lectures so all these are the difficulties while traveling in public transport this is described in this poem now other people are also going and coming back to the office and also traveling for their daily struggle to reach the workplace now, what are the suggestions that you can give? That is the solutions that you can give for those regular travelers, to and fro travelers. One thing, the first thing is given is giving them your place to sit so that if they are of older age, you can do that. And then make way for the senior citizens so that they can enter the crowded buses. Next is also you can take or share rides for the same cost with those traveling with the same route means you can share the vehicles and also you can offer a lift for those who are traveling in the same direction so like this you can be useful to the people who are traveling with you or you can give certain suggestions and ask them to help others now this is complete the table the way our elders take care of us and the way you can take care of elders in your family all these things are given you can write your own experiences some are given to you like love and protect us our elders they do love and protect us when we are young and they support and educate us and also guide us through our childhood and also till the youth age till we are independent they also give us when we are young they give us pocket money and give gifts to us whatever we ask from them now when it comes for our chance the way we can take care of the elders of our family how can we do that we can help them in their daily course and also while going to the banks or stores we can help them in the bringing their requirements also we can ensure that they have a good health with exercise also and they are interacting socially we can help them to go for doctor visits and also when they are doing the meditation we can help them so in this way we can help each other and live a happy and a peaceful life what are our duties towards our family family is made up of parents siblings and grandparents what are our duties towards the parents we should be sharing the responsibilities of our parents we should be helping them around the house and we should help them to cut down the expenses by avoiding wastage next is what can we do with the siblings we should be the role model to our younger ones and we should share the resources whatever 
possible and also we should correct them in their wrong behavior for grandparents we should always be respectful we should help if they are sick and if they need care we should spend time to chat with them we should read to them enjoy light moments and pray with them we should learn values and also ask about their past life so that they can feel happy now when we are in school and college what are our responsibilities towards our teachers and classmates what are the duties we should always be respectful to them we should be courteous and grateful for their help in our life and we should stay in touch with them even after your school and college days what are the the duties towards the classmate we should be courteous we do not associate with those having bad habits and also we should help them those who need support we can share notes while safeguarding against those lazy ones and also we should be cooperative and work as a good team member so in this way we can fulfill our duties towards our family and school and college let us know about the poet dilip chitre dilip chitre was a noted and influential bilingual poet and a translator who worked in marathi and english he was into painting and film making also his he has won sahitya academy award both for poetry as well as for his well known translation work says tuka popular abhangs that is spiritual poems by sant tukaram he has translated it and he had started this translation literally work of saints in marathi at the age of 16 his themes are exile alienation self disintegration and death he writes mainly on those topics now the present poem the poem is taken from traveling in a cage now this poem father returning home is taken from traveling in a cage it has drawn draws a portrait of a suburban commuter commuter is the person who is traveling to and fro continuously means he is going to and fro it depicts his dull monotonous exhausting and equally pitiable daily routine that is his daily routine is quite uh, unhappy one it is routine work and it is exhausting one and it describes a forced alienation at home which is reflected through the state stale food and lack of sharing means his life is described the father's life is described of very boring kind of a thing and he it is a very serious life which he does not enjoy his children refuse to share any joys and sorrows with him and though he is hard working the result is he wants to get retired into solitude means he wants to live alone in this whole world now this very painful loneliness is a symbol of man's isolation means he wants to live alone live separately from the materialistic man made world he wants to live alone so this is the poem which uh, dilip chitre has written father returning home and what are the feelings going on inside the father's mind father returning home now this poem is father's description of how he is returning home with lot of commuters those who are every day going and coming to their workplace through local trains of mumbai my father travels on the late evening train that is almost when it is about to night so that time the father is returning home standing among silent commuters in yellow light the light uh, inside the local trains is yellow so he is standing silently with other travelers those who are the commuters who are every day traveling for their to reach the workplace suburb slide past his unseeing eyes not interested in what is outside or which things are passing by the suburbs are going by the uh, side of the train and he is not at all interested in seeing that and 
so it is described as suburb slight past his unseeing eyes his shirt his appearance is given here his shirt and pants are soggy that is they are dirty with mud and his black raincoat now here if raincoat is described it means the season is rainy season so his black raincoat it is stained with mud and his bag is stuffed with books means it is full of books and the books are falling apart so his appearance is like his shirt and pants are soggy and he is also having a raincoat that is stained with mud and his looks are untidy and his bag is full of books which are falling apart his eyes are dimmed by age he is growing old and so his eyes are not much attractive and they are they are seem to be dimmed by age faded homeward now he is fade and he is not much interested but he is going towards his home through the humid monsoon night means the atmosphere is quite humid and monsoon night he is traveling by the train now i can see him getting off the train like a word dropped from a long sentence here it can be seen that the poet is saying the father his father is coming down is getting down off the train and he is comparing it in the next sentence like a word dropped now this is a example of simile like a word dropped from a long sentence suppose there are two words too many words in a long sentence he is saying that if one word is dropped it gets unnoticed likewise when he is coming getting down of the train he is he it is also unnoticed like that he is dropping down or getting down from the train and as soon as he comes down of the train he hurries across the length of the gray platform here the gray platform is actually symbolizes to the it is a gray color cement platform and it suggests he is going across the old age and the dullness of the father's life so he hurries across the length of the gray platform crosses the railway line and enters the lane which lane the lane where the his house is located so there he is rushing towards the home his chappals are sticky with mud they are sticky because it's rainy season and he is walking across the platform and all the way so his chappals are sticky with mud but he hurries onward so he wants to reach home at the earliest so this is the appearance of his father who is rushingly coming to the home at night at mon monsoon night home again i see him drinking weak tea means when he return back to home he is drinking weak tea that is not very strong light tea and he is eating a stale chapati that is a chapati made long back and reading a book so all this symbolizes that he is all the seriousness in his life he is thinking about it and he goes into the toilet to contemplate contemplate that is to think about the seriousness of life and the dull things in his life and he wants to estrangement man's estrangement from a man made world means he wants to detach himself from the people outside in this world so he wants to live alone that is the reason it is said he goes into the toilet to contemplate to think deeply and he his estrangement his detachment from the man made world coming out he trembles at the sink again the description here when he is at the sink his father he is his hands are trembling his hands are shaking in the sink and when the cold water is running over his brown hands the poet describes that the water is running over his brown hands this is again brown color is again the color of sadness 
and seriousness and a few droplets cling to the gray hair on his wrist so still few droplets remain over his hand over the gray hair on his wrist and all this symbolizes trembles brown hands gray hair graying hair symbolizes that father is growing old and the poet describes all these things in these lines now his children at home do not show any concern with him and also they are, they refuse to share any jokes or interact with him and share any secrets with him he is all alone at home even with his family he is he will go to sleep listening to the same monotonous radio songs and programs and then he will be dreaming of his past that is ancestors and his future that is grandchildren he is not about not at all happy about his present and he will be dreaming of the people who are roaming around those who are called as nomads and he those who are passing through a narrow pass and all this which is not at all concerned so he will be dreaming about that and he will be living the same routine life again that is how the poet dilip chitre has described the seriousness of the life of his father father returning home all the things going on in the mind of the father it was much a serious and a touching poem i hope you would have understood it thanks for watching meet you in the next video till then goodbye